Cyberpunk 2077 Big Update 1.2 is likely going to drop this week or very soon after that. What's up everybody, welcome back to some more Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay and news. Recently CD Projekt Red has been doing internal QA tests for an update at the very least for the Steam version of the game, so we will talk about that here in this video, as well as a few things that have been happening behind the scenes, including the fact that CD Projekt Red has been issuing DMCA takedowns, especially against people who were using and sharing its stolen code, and finally, the CEO of Sony is throwing a bit of shade towards CD Projekt Red and other developers who have released unfinished games in the past. So if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and let's jump right into it. By the way, there's still enough time for you to take part in our February giveaway and you can do so by simply following the links down below, choosing the game from the list of games over there or by typing its name and then hitting the participate button. And at the end of the month, I'm going to announce the winner both here on this channel as well as via the email address provided. As always, a huge shout out to Instant Gaming for making all of this possible. Anyway, let's begin with a brand new update because if you take a look right now at Steam's internal branches for Cyberpunk 2077, you will notice that there was a brand new internal update being posted literally 16 hours ago, at the very least at the time of making this video. And it also seems to be in QA right now, so hopefully by the time it comes out, it is in a proper state, it is fully fleshed out, and we don't have to go through um, other bugs that might arise as a result of the new update. Now, the update was supposed to release in February, as we've talked about previously, it was very likely that this would release in the second half of February, and to be more specific, towards the end of the month, just like how it was with the previous big update 1.1. And if everything goes on track, it should still release in the month of February, which would place it on the 26th of February, as we did talk in a previous video a couple of weeks ago. Now, I will say this, Previously, um, CD Projekt Red CEO did announce that because of the internal leaks and everything that's been happening in the past few weeks with CD Projekt Red, there were some delays of upcoming updates, but um, there wasn't anything specific being mentioned or announced ever since then. So yeah, strong vibes that the update will still drop at the end of this month. Now, since we are on the subject of updates, I also want to talk about the situation with Sony and um, yeah, the game did not fare very well at at least for the console sales and it didn't even enter like top 10 when it comes to the most sold games um, in January of 2021 so the game is nowhere to be seen right here um, yeah it's a pretty far cry from the other games over there even compared to something like Marvel spider-man that came way before that now that comes as a surprise to nobody as the game was pretty much removed from the PlayStation Store entirely not even a week after its launch back in December and there's there's still no news that it will ever come back to the PlayStation Store, at least not in a timely manner. And we also have to add the fact that the game mostly sold digitally rather than physically, as most people prefer to buy it as such. So in this case, if it were to be available on the PlayStation Store again, it would probably fare much better, at the very least after a few more rounds of updates. But at the same time, we also have to talk about Sony CEO um, Jim Ryan throwing a bit of a shade towards CD Projekt Red and other similar developers who have released unfinished games back in the past. So at one point during a GQ interview, um, one of the interviewers asked Ryan about some of the recent delays that have hit many of its first party Sony games and Ryan's response according to the article was very interesting and pretty much shocked a lot of people. So he went on to explain that there are really only two approaches to game development regarding delays. A studio can either hold onto the game until it is finished and ready the ship before releasing it, or it can release it at a certain date regardless of how close it is to being finished. Ryan also said not so subtly that there have been high profile instances of publishers releasing unfinished games. And yes, it's very likely that this was a reference towards CD Projekt Red and the state in which Cyberpunk 2077 was released in, but um, it's probably going to be applied to many other developers in the past. Just naming a few in the recent memory, we had, well, Marvel's Marvel's Avengers that was released in a pretty poor state with a ton of issues at launch, though it could have been way worse. 
like if we were to go with Anthem standards, that was way way worse. As a matter of fact, even to this date, I am still surprised that EA and Bioware never got the same treatment with Anthem back in the days because that was way worse than anything Cyberpunk 2077 did up until today. So who knows, maybe this is just the culmination of everything that's been happening in the past few years. Nonetheless, before moving on, Ryan reassured his fans that Sony Studios are taking the other approach and while delays are unfortunate, he explains that they are necessary to create finished and polished games. And given the current state of the world, most fans are very understanding when it comes to delays and thanks to Cyberpunk 2077, it seems that developers feel even more pressure to put out quality products. But on a final note, CD Projekt Red is issuing DMCA takedowns towards anybody who is sharing any of its leaked and stolen data and they've also employed a pretty big company to actually help them out with that. So according to Tom's Hardware, last week several Twitter users received notifications from a copyright monitoring company for providing links to torrents containing the source code. And yeah, we even have a few snippets of a copy of the email that was sent to the Twitter users with the DMCA and so on. So, description of infringement, illegally obtained source code of Gwent, the Witcher card game posted without authorization, not intended to be released to the public is what was stated in that DMCA takedown. In addition to those Twitter users, several others have also had their tweets taken down and replaced with a reply from Twitter that stated, has been withheld in response to a reply report from the copyright holder. So, I um, mean, yeah, this is basically, yeah, CD Projekt Red going in and trying to take down as many of these people as possible, or well, the company that they have employed, though I'm not really sure how well this is going to hold, because there's still auctions happening online, and there's still codes and leaked data being shared between people, be it in these public places like Twitter and Reddit, but, I mean, it also happens behind the scenes between people, and even more so on websites that normally aren't accessible. But it does seem that a ton of people got their hands on the leaked data and are now starting to share it online. And according to Vice.com, some of it even allegedly made its way onto low-level hacking and data trading forums. So some of this data includes Gwent assets marked as being built with a Unity engine. There is supposedly a new card game developed by CD Projekt Red based in the Witcher universe. And there's also leaked files that includes a note from the hackers announcing more leaks in the future. And the hackers who posted it online were trying to sell other alleged unreleased data stolen from CD Projekt Red, again for pretty absurd amounts of money. But this is it with the news, of course I'm going to keep you guys updated when the new update is going to drop, hopefully it is going to be on Friday. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, as always, if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel and activate that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.